On your knees! Hi. <laughs> Alright, it's time for a confusing floor. I need to earn a little bit more money too, because I need 36,000 for this floor. We're going to floor 9. The Jade Jungle is at Brim with Life. So this thing changes, which is blocked off. I'm gonna walk around with Murder Nitori again. Right away, what's going on here? Hmm, there's some sort of barrier in that in the direction we're heading. We ain't too familiar with barriers. Yeah, it's right here, not that I know what it's for. This is Lady Dunsbury, really? That's weird. All the Dunsbury's up to now have been those that only Chen can sense, right? How come Lima can sense this one? And this is also Dunsbury, but it might be of a different type and used to those that were scattered all over the lower floors, perhaps? Well, Chen, know anything about this? Um, I don't know about the ones on the lower floors, but I think I know about this one. It's a barrier meant for use in battles. It increases Lady uh, strength while it's active. She sets up several of these barriers around her before a Dunmuka battle. She'll get really, really strong. Now, just so in that case, they'll be safe to get rid of this barrier. It'll be a problem if Dun gets any stronger when she's already strong enough. And while we don't know what Dun's doing erecting barriers all over the Great Tree, it's a It'd be best to get rid of these and chip away at our power. Hey, can you do that? I should be able to somehow or other. Send back, please. Mm, paste a charm here, and... Yeah! Ooh, nice and clean. Bears are my specialty, after all. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep revealing the map. Just go for it. I wonder if there's any balls of hate on this map. Oh, there's an immediate level 34 boss. Whee! Holy 15,000 damage. Let's go ahead and find some sort of tunnel. Gotta continue the map reveal party, though. Launch more ice. Nice to meet you. What have we got here? Yokai's fire blowgun? She sounds like something dangerous. Murder. I like that enemies have like 3,000 hit points, and Neutrality's just like, yeah, here's 10,000. It's like, oh, you're strong against it? Still one shot. That's the power of a maintenance. Boop. Sure, let's see what's in here. Metal Shattering Yokai Axe. And a bunch of stuff. Star of the Just. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> I feel like that's something that Nitori can make good use of during a boss battle. We drizzle all over the enemies. Let's expose the everything. We damage! Because I missed that enemy. Dang it. That worked. Only 1700 damage, but still dies. Items. Special item treasure chest key. Getting murdered. Sana is also nice in that she restores TP. She's got that extra toilet paper. Murder! <laughs> Strong against it still dies. Glittering jewel. No entry. Some of the litter puzzles in this game are nasty. Whee! Oh yeah, on this floor we get to fight Tenchi again. Alright, what have we got here? Old model power armor. My MP! Bringing you. Let's get some tripwires going. Tripwire! Boop! Explosion! And here we have Diva's apron. Getting all sorts of new sub equipment. Don't forget to sub equip. More stuff. Scouter. Trip on the swire. Then get exploded. Trip bar is nice for debuffing too. Wee. Gold rush. Dang it. Must reveal the everything. What's going on here? Hmm. This barrier. It's ladies on down like a battle barrier. It's like the one near the entrance. So we should get rid of this one for now. Nemo, if you would leave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> as ever. Working with berries is my forte after all. Let's move on. So that's that's the spell to get rid of the berries. Just hya it. Tripwire. Explosion. Got one more tripwire in me. No entry. Oh wait, this is the thing to turn to switch the uh, the barriers. It's a puzzle floor. Tripwire. Boop. Masana explode. One. Gold Rush. Find Murder. Death. Pale Wings Thruster. Is that the high speed item? More items. Happy Hat. Reveal everything I can when the switch is on. Sparklies! Sparklies! I guess these guys want physical attacks, huh? Death. Death. 
biggest sword ever. We have access to an item. Card Ruler of Heavens. There's so much equipment in this game. Sparklies! Sparklies! Jerk. Oh, I got high magic defense. I need to bring more physical attackers. Something like a Kassen. No entry. So he's got sparklies. And not so sparklies. Oh, those guys drain MP. That's that's rude as fuck. Pretty good review on the first run. Let me hit this. Wee. Wee. And I can go through here, and we can get a water cutting sword. Guess who's back? It's drizzle time again. Cut you. Ah, oh, you jerk. Wee. Man, Nitori's fucking broken. What's over here? So thick is blocking our way. By glancing in my direction, it is fastest to deal with these plants by cutting their roots instead of the plants themselves. We've already tried the latter. <clears throat> I suppose so. If this plant's the same as the one on the floor below, finding a similar root and cutting that would cause this plant to wither away. Ah, roots, roots, the root of it all is roots. Rooting around the place for treasures is way more exciting than rooting around the place for roots. Enough complaints, let's root out all the roots we find here. Erg. <laughs> Means I guess we should start on this side now. Fun gas. I'll get fucked. There's lots of red exclamation marks. There's also a lot of murder going on. I should take a look around at some of the locked chests that I left behind. See if they have the uh, increased, increased stuff from enemies uh, items in them. I feel like those ones are important. Exclamation point. Hi, sweet guy. I want to drink sake. I can't go on without that kind of sake anymore. Huh? That tree truly spoils Noni. What are you trying to say? Once you give a dog milk with a little sugar inside, that dog can't drink milk without sugar anymore. It's like that. Which means it means exactly what I said. Ah, I'm really out of fuel. Grr. Drizzled. More exploration. More exploration. Each of these running out of MP. Nazrin's running out of TP. Found a jump pad. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Fire. Final slash death. Dead end. Wee. Wee. Penetrates your defense. Where do these stairs go? What's down here? So there's a long hallway and stairs going back up. More exclamation points. Hmm, this root display, this root display crying out for attention looks familiar. Could be root from the plant blocking the path near the entrance. It looks like the other roots we've seen. We'll find out once we cut it. So allow me, ha, ooh, let's check back on the block pathway later. Hopefully, this will allow us to pass through it. And we find jump pad. Got everything on this side. <laughs> That's the spirit. Boop. Yay, more items. Way up here, nine hundred monies. If I got forty of those treasures, I'd have enough for Suika's thing. Getting tripped up. Murdered by Sanai. So many different paths. Explosion. And murdered. Items. The Arch. McDonald's Arch Deluxe. Oh, this looks horrible. Physical attack. Rude. All taking damage doesn't use up extra TP. Find purple metallic armor. Suddenly, enemies. Boop. Guess Sana has done. What's going on here? Oh, oh my, this belongs, belongs to. Hello there, I see you have come here as well. Suppose your objective is to stop the celestial holding the Amen of Munakumo. Huh, Byokuren, you know about that? In a way, yes. Due to my training as a priest, I would notice the existence and movement of a sword possessing such divine power, regardless of whether I wanted to or not. Furthermore, I'm quite well known amongst the Yokai and Yonan Temple by now. I've overheard from them about the conversation at Hakurei Shrine regarding a certain miraculous and revered sword already. Completely found out. Ha ha ha, good job keeping it secret, eh? Guess it was always a tall order keeping anything from someone on... Keep, keeping anything from someone... On Yukari or Belkaden's level, though. Those yokai have no respect, though, honestly. Belkaden, please make them stop referring to my shrine as some gathering place for yokai. Oh my, it isn't? <laughs> of course it isn't. Those yokai keep just keep coming continuously, and because of them, human worshippers keep their distance, honestly. 
That's because you aren't treating your duties seriously. I keep hearing about how the Hakuday Shrine has been taken over by yokai at the village all the time. <sighs> anyway, if you're ser searching for the Celestial on the ha Amino Monokumo as well, would you like to join us? Oh yeah, let's stick together. It'd, it'd be huge to have someone as strong as you with us. Thank you for the invitation, but I'm traveling with the Enma, that, though we are acting separately at the moment. Enma? Enma, you mean my boss? Whoa, Lady Shiki's here too? I requested her help, as I did not believe that this was a matter I could handle alone. She seemed quite disconcerted by this great tree as well, so she was quite open to my petition for assistance. I thought that she's. I thought that's why she sent me out here in the first place. She's here to herself too. Then she really doesn't trust me that much. Going by how much you're always slacking and how much she's always lecturing you, that's hardly surprising. Ah, uh, I guess so. Is that really something to laugh about? When searching for a single celestial in such a massive tree, even when we catch up to her, traveling as one group might make it easier for the target to escape. For now, I believe it most effective to keep to keep apart while searching for her. Hmm, yeah, you have a point. Yuka and Yuko seem to be chasing Tenchi down as well. With the three of us working separately, we should definitely be able to find Tenchi sooner rather than later. And you and Eiki shouldn't have any problems with the enemies around here. Although there are many details that we lack, why did this great tree grow shortly after that celestial acquired the Amino Monokumo? And how was she able to extract such power from it? These all remain mysteries. Speaking that, Yukari and the Ghost Queen said something similar too. They did? I'm the type of person who remembers those tiny details. They said something like how a celestial shouldn't be able to draw out that kind of power. Tenchi yourself explained it by saying that the Celestial possessed power close to the gods or something like that. That is not possible, no matter how much training that Celestial undergo, drawing out the Amino Monokumo's power requires strength several orders of magnitude above their peak. But that Tenchi is definitely way stronger ever since she got her hands on that sword. Even as one whole group, we weren't a match for that one Celestial. I'm pretty sure we won the first fight. <laughs> There's no way that strength could be from Tenchi alone. The only real possibility is that she's getting the strength from the Amino Monokumo somehow. The Celestial said the Great Tree grew because it's her... It's her who has a sword, though. If we were to believe her, that means the tree is actually born from the Celestial's own power. That cannot be. While it's true that the Amino Monokumo has the power to control the land, and a, power, a potential evil application of it would be to cause something like the Great Tree to grow in an instant, to perform such a complicated deed would require the sword to acknowledge someone as its true wielder, so that, so that that person can make full use of its power. But following that logic, that means that the Celestial was chosen by, by it to be the one who controls the land? Looking at the current situation, that would be the most fitting explanation, but that cannot happen so suddenly. I believe that we must be missing some pieces of the puzzle. If there's stuff we don't know hiding in the background, then the best best way we've got to expose that is to beat up the one who's standing in the foreground, that Celestial. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're a match for her yet, but we've definitely gotten more used to fighting since our last encounter. We'll give her a better fight this time. With all three of our groups chasing Celestial, we are sure to find her as well. I shall take my leave then. Thanks for the info! That Tenchi, if she really hasn't really mastered the Amuno Monoko, then how, how does she get so much power? As we said just now, there's no point in pondering things that we don't know yet. Let's hurry on so that we can find the answer as soon as possible. Yeah, let's get searching for that Tenchi. And another one. This route desperately crying out for attention. Oh, is this the same? Yep. More root cutting. Iced. I'll get fucked. Dead end. More treasure. Purifying amulet. Materials. Get iced. Get sparklied. Get murdered. No, no death. Ow! That's rude. There's more treasure trolling me. It's like you're near me, but you can't get me. We iced. And we sparklied. No entry. This floor. Got through most of it in one trip. Sparklies. Screw you. Full on murder party also. This should be dead end. Treasure. Pale Wing Thruster. And I got Forest Mage is the most annoying enemy here. But having Sanai gives me some nice em er, TP regen. Longer, longer journeys. Longer something. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> Lame can finish off the rest. More loopy paths. I'll, that's quite a bit to get to this treasure. Luster Candy. Murder. Murder. Crazy milk. Trying to damage to all the forest mages. I guess now's the time to hit this. Should I open up the upper right here? Wee! Time to bring the powerhouse back in. And I should open this to the treasure chest. And here we have Stone of Awakening. More subclasses. You getting murdered! Hop across. Make our way through here. What's going on here? 
There's a barrier. It's leading on the Dunmuka Battle Barrier. It's like the one near the entrance. Yeah, here, okay, there you go. Go ahead and hia it. Murder cold. I guess that opened up this over here too, right? Oh wait, can I get through there? Looks like it's from the other way. All right, nothing else on this side. Time to head back. Energy gem. What did we do? Collect 20 different main equipments. Levels! All right, we need to buy the pure HQ suck at butterfly. Suddenly, more achievements. Spend more than 20,000 money at Nitori's workshop. Buy three kinds of refined sake. Your sake-loving friend will join you. That's a lot of fine sake. It looks like someone really wants them. All right, back we go. Go find Suika. Hi, I can't go on. And do you have any more of that, of that last sake? I can't forget its taste. No, we don't. Do you know how expensive it was? Wow, well, I never experienced such bliss again. We ain't got that sake anymore, but we've got some that's even more expensive right here. It's called Pure HQ Sake Butterfly. Even better than that? How's that even possible? Gimme! No can do. If we give it to you, you'll, sim you'll empty it in the flash and run off. Hello, Sen. You join our Great Tree Exploration Party, and you can. And for each exploration run we do, you get one small cup of this sake. What are you, some kind of drug lord? <laughs> Why are you, Shrine Maiden? Gua. How unfair. You know I can't say no to that. You want to talk about unfair? How about the only who drinks all the super expensive sake in one swig, then runs away without repaying the favor or even a word of thanks? In other words, we're collecting on the debt you owe us, so how about it? If you want this sake, join us. Now helping, I'm getting tired of climbing this place alone, anyways. Alright, send her to you all. Now hand, hand the sake over. Nuh-uh, didn't we say it just now you get one cup per expiration run? So unfair! Alright, Japanese goblin, get. Shortcut. Alright, back to doing stuff on the left side. And one more route left. It's the root of the issue. Alright, we gotta hit the thingamabobber. And this thingy. And then we can go to the very north, or to the north and the east a bit. Continue to drizzle all over these enemies. Now check out this section way over here. Get the rest of the treasures. Picture this. And we find sentries and jacket. And there's an orb thingy here. Iced. And that opened up this. Money, so look over here. Oh, there's someone standing there and looking real imposing. That's who it can only belong to. Lady Shiki. It's been a long time, and Marisa, and Komachi as well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm sorry for, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you even apologizing? Whenever you use that kind of tone, it generally means lecture time for me. That is not specialized for you. You should pay attention to what people say instead. For all the unnecessary conversations you have with the ghosts who you ferry across the suns, remember your ability to listen to me has not improved. Ah, yes, I'm sorry, er, so what do you want to say? Do you recall that the first thing I said to you was? I had said to lend your strength to Nemo and her group. From those words, how did you manage to arrive at the conclusion that attacking Nemo's group would be the best course of action? <laughs> So it really is lecturing time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, how did you know that in the first place? <sighs> I should leave the matter aside, since you are at least prop properly serving under the name of group now. Furthermore, I would not come here specifically to lecture you. Yeah, why are you here anyway? And alone, and alone at that, the great tree has become a source of trouble for me. Thus, when the priest of Mjolnir Temple requested for my assistance, I accepted on the reasoning that it would be an excellent chance to resolve the situation. Ah, that's right, you were paired up with Bjelkut and we met her a little earlier. My, you met the priest? Then I suppose there is no need for any further explanations. By the way, Aki, you said that this great tree has become a source of trouble for you? What kind of trouble do you mean exactly? Ah, yes, I do I don't understand, but the ghosts that were supposed to be waiting to be ferried across the Sun's River have been somehow bewitched by this great tree and fled the Sun's River to flock to it. The number of ghosts who escaped were minimal at first, and could be dealt with by sending Komachu to retrieve them, but as time went on, the number of ghost escapees kept multiplying to the point where it can no longer be ignored. And that's when Byakura invited you. Yes, it was an offer that I could not refuse, so I spoke and we will, we will continue to pursue our objectives separately. Komachi! Yeep! I shall say this in front of Raymond and group as well. If you ignore my orders and attack them again, I will not overlook it so easily. I'm sorry, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm already following them with the almost of obedience. Are you now? Come on, vouch for me here! I'm in a hurry, so I shall move on ahead. Do take care of yourselves. K K. See ya, Mom. <laughs> so the ghosts are coming to the Great Tree? Why are they doing that? We can leave that to Aki. Besides, resolving whatever is happening with the Great Tree, we should deal with... Resolving whatever is happening with this Great Tree, great tree should deal with that as well. Yep, so let's hurry our search for Tenchi. I guess that's true. Let's go then. And more. More roots. Whee! More Pale Wing Thrusters. And dang it, I gotta hit the orb again. Should have come up there first. Oh, I guess I didn't hit the orb. No, I did it properly. I'm not as bad at this game as most people are led to believe. Alright, now what's going on here? Another barrier. Go ahead and hia it. 
All right, that looks like a pretty clean map. All right, now to take on the bosses. All right, I need to make a, a run murder party. She can be debuffed, so Chino's always nice. She can be poisoned. She's also weak against fire, so Oku will help with that. Some cold damage and dark, I believe. Cold and dark, so I think Kogasa will be nice too. And for terroring. Actually, I think she's strong against terror, but... Something like this. Strong against spirit, but I can debuff her. Menuing the video game. And then I have to change out all my equipment. I have some of this new sub equipment I got. Oh yeah, this one. Suddenly, resistances. Full tank mode. Full speed mode. Does this double the uh, negatives? <laughs> yup! More menuing. More menuing. More menuing. Menuing forever. Become more accurate. Alright, full tank mode. Mm, hit points. Hit points and resistances. Alright, you're a main attacker. Those stats, though. You should also be a main attacker. Big Bang Wave Cannon. You're also an attacker. You have really good resistances. Because like you don't have as good speed. Maybe was kind of a healer. Let's get some resistances out too. Buff my speed. I guess I guess this is a good enough uh, setup. Buff the shit out of Nitori. Also, let's bring everybody to level 35. Let me bring Lame down so my average level is 34. Half hour later. I'm gonna presume the south one over here is that 34? Yes. Hello. Ah, Marisa, said there's a barrier right ahead. Did I just step on it? Yeah, this is one of those barriers I can't see, which means that this barrier that Marisa stepped on isn't a battle support barrier, more like one of the barriers in the lower floors. And what's it supposed to do? I don't know. Wait, what's going on? Chen! <laughs> Chen, are you okay? Did those nefarious villains who kidnapped you mistreat you in any way? Kidnapped? You evildoers, how dare you? You won't get away with this. Oi, open your eyes. It's me and the Hakurei Stride Maiden. Don't bother. She's not going to listen. I'll rip your bodies to shreds. Consider this the... What little repayment you can offer for kidnapping my precious Chen. Lady Anna, wait. No! Alright, she's gonna summon some stuff. That is a big speed boost. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta wait for her to summon the things. There they are. Miracle fruit! Alright, get rid of all of them. <laughs> get some debuffs out. Holy, that looks really mad. <laughs> Alright, that's a lot of buffs. More. She's gonna summon more. Holy 17,000 damage. Get debuffs out. Get buffs out. Drizzled on. <laughs> All that stat up. Debuffs. Wee. Oh, I'm just getting fucked up. Fucking need three stats. Lol. Get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Spoils. On your knees. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this scene looks familiar. Uh, well, I can explain you. See, I erected a barrier around Maioya when yet Chen disappeared. I thought that Chen wouldn't be able to cross that barrier herself, so she must have been kidnapped by some evildoers. Lady Don, while you were in Dreamland nibbling at the fried tool while you were preparing for, while you were preparing for lunch, the barrier got a lot weaker. Uh, it, it's called sampling, Chen. It's to ensure that they, they taste good. You need to eat half of the fried tofu for that? <laughs> it, it wasn't half, more like one-third. Your yeah, love for fried tofu sure hasn't changed. I get it all now. Since you were under the impression that Chen was kidnapped, you put up barriers all over the Great Tree in order to ascertain where Chen and her kidnappers were. Yes, that's right. Um, I know I've caused a lot of trouble. Chen! <laughs> I'll rip your bodies to shreds. Consider this my what little repayment you can offer for kidnapping my precious Chen. Ah, stop! I really am sorry. Chen, let's go back to Mayoiga. No. I don't want to go back yet. Don't be so selfish. The upper floors are full of danger. Won't you just be a burden? Um, we've had Chen with us for a while, so how about how about asking us first? She was hard to rely on at the start, but she's become a full-fledged exploration party member now. It'll be rough on us if you drag one of our members away. There, you see, Lady Nun, I've become pretty strong, you know. So we're not letting Chen go. 
If you're so worried about her, then you should come along with us. No one else should be able to get into my Oga anyway, so it'll be okay to leave it empty. And you still need to make up, make it up to us for attacking us out of the blue like that. Um, Marisa, that's cruel. You knew if you played that card, I wouldn't have any counter to it. Well, yes, that's exactly what I was aiming for. Lady and I, let's go together, okay? I want to be with you too. Just get married already. <laughs> oh well, I do owe you all a lot for... A lot after all, and seeing Chen grow so much in such a short time does make me happy, which means, fine, let me come along with you. I'll be in your care. Yay, Lady Dan, thank you! How nice, increasing our numbers is certainly a welcome development. We'll be counting on you, Dan. Super buffer, get. Alright, let's get out of here. New achievement. Portable Bible Cannon. Collect 60 different materials. If you keep collecting this many materials, an all-purpose working machine could create a real solid armor soon. Alright, well, what I'm doing just got completely fucked up. Alright, so next will be Tenshi. I can poison her, but I want people who can penetrate defense like Utsuho. I don't want to flick, what is it, terror and heavy? Silence and heavy. That means an Alice will come in handy. And buffs are, can be bad in this fight. Debuff her speed? She also does dark nature and spirit attacks. I don't want too many buffs, because if you get over 100% buffs, then uh, she'll begin fucking you up. Cold can deal damage. Komachi's going to have to debuff. Kasen's going to debuff. Okay, I don't need Kogasa, because she can't be terrored. Lumia can penetrate defense, but she's strong and dark. Kaguya can penetrate defense, so these three probably be my main attackers. Debuff, debuff, debuff. Who else can debuff? You have terror and silence, but you do dark attack, so she's strong against that. Another half hour to figure out what party to use. She can be damaged by wind, and silence works too. Well, I guess you penetrate some defense too. Well, I guess not dark, but this boss is strong, he's mystic as well. <laughs> Try with something like this. I don't know that this boss is pretty tough. I right, mostly spirit defense. You got high spirit as it is, right? That's the spirit. Your nature's a bit low though. Oh, this boss can lower speed, so maybe it would be a good idea to have Aya here. It was like, I feel like being pretty much invincible, use the dart, use the divine barrier. Actually, use this. Make you accurate. Make you accurate. Make you accurate. Make you ac- oh wait, that's attack. Make you accurate. You were just- but you have like no hit points. I also like giving you this because, you know, stats. You're decently resistant against what Tenchi can do as well. So much stuff to do. Get everyone equipped. Take another half hour to do that. Alright, where's Tenchi hiding? I guess I have to be at the right level. More credit towards my, what is it, like 100 dungeon runs? It's just 36, right? Alright, now let's go for her. Throughout this treasure chest. Thousand monies! Is she up here? No. Yep, idiot spotted. Marisa, look there. Ho ho ho, Reimu Marisa, you've done well to repel the fearsome attack of my servant Iku and make your way here. Who are you calling your servant? I'm certainly not one of yours. Lady Mana, go and call the Lady Tenshi is holding. Would that be the Amina Munakumo? Yes, that's the big problem. We really need to do something about it. Oh ho ho ho, mere servants like you desire this divine sword? How foolish! This is the sword of gods, and its only rightful owner is me, the one whom gods kneel before. Gensoke has delivered this sword to me. Huh? Isn't Mira's Tenshi getting even weirder? Y'all just aren't on my level, that's all. Now that I have the Amino Monokumo, I control all of Gensokyo's heaven. I am justice! And here I am fulfilling the great responsibilities that come with being justice while mere commoners who don't know their place dare to criticize me. How absolutely absurd. Mm, yeah, she's pretty weird now. Was she always like this? Was she always this type of character? Well, Lady Tenshi always had her strange points. I was thinking of leaving you to your own devices for a while until you're actually a match for me. But if you're getting in the way of my duty to control heaven, then I will destroy you right now. Good grief, Lady Tenshi, this is pointless. She's way beyond too hyped up for words to have any effect. Is it a full moon tonight or something? Relax enough to crack jokes, aren't you? I'll give you plenty to think about right now. And she buffs herself with lots of defense and stuff. Yeah, defense in mind. Increasing. So I'm gonna try to poison her. Try to silence her. Give her all the debuffs. Ow. Okay, there's some poison. 42,000 poison worth. Ow. Can you not? Please debuff her speed. 
Oh, she gets heavy. Yeah, come on, she healed a bit. Ah, oh, your stuff is slowly running out. Give me more silence. Ow, what like a Zemu? Ow. Debuff you some more. Give you some damage penetration. Ow. I did the speed down. Trip her up. Give her more Giga Flares. Well, that's rude. We can give her some more poison. Can you stop, like, not hitting Komachi? Yeah, there's some more poison. Oh, she's concentrating. I can actually do some damage to her now. Debuff her attack. At least try to debuff her speed. Now she doesn't want to feel like getting debuffed today. Well, shit. So can get her poisoned some more. Get her debuffed some more. Alright, so you can do some actual damage. She's at half health. But I have no healer now. So there's not much from me that I can do anymore. Like, Kaori does a lot of damage because it penetrates defense. Well, that was a good try. Need more poison on her. Also need her to fuck off with hitting, uh... Not Komachi all the time. Also, I'd like to debuff her. Game, please. See, it's that kind of shit that's annoying. Alright, there's some poison. You can still deal damage. Ow. I doubt this can even deal any damage. I mean, it deals a bit of damage. Stop that. <laughs> Alright, it's time for the big spirit attack. Can uh, Venemu survive this? Attack down. All the downs. Help okay, Venemu can survive it. Oh, good, it missed. So we can get some more poison on her. Gotta start dealing damage again. So we can get silence on her, too. Ow! Let's get a Giga Flare and run. One damage. Jerk. Get some more healing out. This is going way better than last time, but I hope I don't get shenaniganed. Try to get some more poison out. Game, please. Game, please. Alright, there's poison. I'm gonna get heavy as well. Game, please. Game, please. Uh oh. Can get one last Giga Flare out before she dies. Or can miss. That's fortunate. Alright, try to get some damage out. Ow! A little more damage. Please hit Komachi. You dick. I'm running out of characters. I got poisoned again. This should do it. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Portable viral cannon. Run away! Yes, how's that? We're a lot better than last time. Not bad for a bunch of commerce taking on a celestial holding a divine sword. You have indeed grown stronger in such a short time, which means I'll have to use a bit more of my power. Hmm, what could be going on? I sense far more divine energy than before. Even I can tell that. Geez, so that wasn't her limit? She's glowing with some light. I'm getting a real bad feeling about this. Getting stronger is just unfair. That fight earlier was hard enough. Can't you show a little restraint? Why, sh why would I care? He'll regret having a laughable dream that you could defeat me, me, the controller of all of heaven. Huh? What? Who's there? It is I. Good day, everyone. I'm glad we made it in time. Barely. Gyokun and Aneki too. I see, so this is the Yamano Monokumo that you spoke of. It does possess tremendous power indeed. Goodness me, when did such an object float against Sokyo? Who are you two? Are you trying to get in my way too? Do we look like we arrived to assist you? If we do not, then naturally we have come to stop you. Lady Mumarisa, our apologies for interrupting the heated moment, but we shall be joining the fray. Don't worry, we can use the help. Tenshi, if you want to come at me, come at us again, now's the time. Good, I'll use my power to crush all of you at once. And we're gonna get crushed. I'll replace the first two. It's like I lose Komachi. Because you can't, I think you can instant death her. There's something you can do to shenanigan her. Also, very powered up Tenshi. It's also pretty much strong against everything that, uh... That Byokunin can do. D debuff. Also, this penetrates defense. But you've got a lot of hit points. Super scope zero. Murder. 
getting murdered. Boop. Boop. Murdered. Game over, it's all fine. She's strong. This boggled the mind, how can she evoke such power from the sword? <laughs> Lady Shiki, are you okay? Look at you two now, so much for all that fanfare. So she's just so strong, it's crazy, ow. My dear opponents, you seem very well acquainted with the ground now. I suppose I should go the extra mountain sure you don't think of fighting me again. Hmm? Wait, what's going on? My body's going numb? What is it? Does this mean my body's still not used to, <laughs> to the Amino Monokumo's power? Oh, 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 didn't I tell you? You cannot defeat me! It pains me to do this again against a bunch of fodder like them, but I should retreat for safety's sake. I don't have time, the time to waste on lowly servants. I shall be excusing myself now. Do learn from your experience and don't even try to fight me again. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Fucking crazy bitch. Damn it. That was... Tenshi was behaving rather strangely, was she not? Yeah, wasn't she clearly panicking at the end? When when would that be? From what I saw, she was drunk on her own power from the start till the end. Hmm, about when she beat us all up, including you and Byakuden? Yeah, around there. Also knows Byakuden scroll thing is covering Aki's face. Up till then, she was always giving off a really overbearing atmosphere, but it suddenly turned into one of disturbance and worry. Or at least that's what I felt at that point. What is that, your intuition speaking? My intuition? You could say that. The rest of you don't, didn't feel it? I do not have much experience in that field, so noticing the subtleties of a celestial's feelings is not quite my forte. Hmm, so what do you think about the situation? You're reading her mind, right? I did ask you to stop using my power in such ways, did I not? I suppose this is not a situation I should keep quiet about, and Nemu has realized half of it already. Which means after the second battle ended, the celestial felt a sudden and severe abnormality in her body and withdrew based on that. She was in quite a panic from that situation. Hmm, you serious? Is that a chink in the armor that we can exploit? Possibly, the celestial herself did not know why the situation turned out as it did. That is true, then we should continue challenging the Celestial, even if she defeats us every time, it would not be meaningless. Perhaps drawing out the, that much power from the Amino Monoko places a huge burden on her, so if, if she tries it too much, perhaps we have a bigger chance of victory than we thought. This is definitely beneficial information. Indeed it is. Shall we maintain the status quo? We, Emu's group, and Yukari's group shall continue to chase after the Celestial and, the, and exhaust her by forcing her to constantly evoke power from the Amino Monokumo? Yeah, that sounds like the way to go. Now that we know your weakness, your luck's run out, Tenshi, we're gonna hunt you down. Well then, Shiki and I shall continue our pursuit of the Celestial. Got it, be careful. Thank you, all of you should be careful as well. The Celestial is one matter, but the monsters around the air are constantly getting stronger as well. We shall take our leave then, do excuse us. Hmm, guess we found a silver lining in the dark cloud. That's what I'm hoping for, and besides, that Celestial's now got Yukari, Yuyuko, Byokuren, and Eiki all chasing after her. It's been quite the major incident, though I suppose it would have been that the moment that Amino Monokumo was confi confirmed to be involved. I mean, we've got victory in our sights now. All the more reason to keep our spirits up and go on. Yeah! Yeah, staircase! Suddenly, grasslands. Wait, not so grasslands? Desert? A desert. A desert indeed. Must see your mouth's wide open. What's so shocking about this? All the floors up to now have been strange in their own way. Still, a desert's just... We're in a tree, yet we can see a deep blue sky and a brightly shining sun? It's just crazy. There are no walls, twigs, or trunks of any kind to be seen. It is as if this area stretches out to eternity. How? Who knows? We can't do anything about what we don't know. This is the, that kind of place, so just accept it. More importantly, we need to keep chasing after Tenchi and making her use up her power. There isn't much else we can there isn't much else we can do about her otherwise. I'm rather worried about Lady Tenchi's condition, though these those worries can wait until after we stop her. At first I was flabbergasted by her strength, but we were gradually starting to see her limit. Won't be long now until we teach her a real good lesson. Speaking of Tenchi, hasn't her behavior gotten odd lately? I think so too. Pulling off outrageous stunts is hardly unheard of her, but I do be but I believe the basic reason for that was because she simply loved attention and wanted to have fun. I think so too, and that description doesn't fit the tension we saw just now at all. She was far more overbearing and aggressive, not much different from how you were like when you were possessed, actually. Ah, now that you mention it, it does fit. Did I give up those hers as well? You didn't run off your mouth, but your atmosphere was the same. You were really thorny and harsh. Ah, that sounds awful. Anyway, that's over now. Tenshi's change of behavior is what we gotta be worried about. Well, I suppose attaining such such power may have changed her personally as well, but... Oh, well, let's leave the contemplation aside. We just need to chase her down. Yeah. Yeah! Alright, teleportation. And let's and let's get out of here. Alright, beat up, beat up the stupid Celestial again. And now, we get to go on our hunting party. Well, again, we got a lot done, so maybe uh, maybe we'll stop here, and then next time we'll go through the next couple of next floor, or a couple of floors depending on how long they are. All right, thanks, and I, and I need time. I need like, I need like an hour to reform my party for adventuring. So thanks for watching. Did you like this video? If you did, press that like button, leave a comment, and share it. You can also press the left button to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and press the right button to watch more Labyrinth of Toho. Thanks for watching.